A man who attacked a 13-year-old girl, Tyon Orchard, and former radio host, Cheryl Mouse moments later, was jailed for four weeks on Friday. William Ochin Chai, 52, who had also attacked a 37-year-old man, pleaded guilty to four charges, including three for using criminal force. His other charge was for an offence under the Protection from Harassment Act and as a repeat offender for this charge. He faced enhanced punishment. The teenage victim and the man, who was with his young sons then, cannot be named as those under 18 are protected under the Children and Young Persons Act, or has a history of violence. He was previously jailed for two weeks and ten days in November 2021 for spitting in the direction of a bus driver and twice at a bus passenger's face. He had also committed other offences of voluntarily causing hurt and using criminal force. District Judge Eddie Tam on Friday noted he could have been given fines for some of his latest offences had he not had a criminal record for related offences. Citing his past record before sentencing Orr, the judge said he seems to have a problem of self-control. Though Orr initially said he did not want to say anything in mitigation. He sobbed when the judge said this and said he has a problem with his sight. Said District Judge Tam, some people cannot walk, some people cannot see clearly. But they don't go around hitting people. You must control your actions. That kind of behavior must stop. Deputy Public Prosecutor Kelly Ng said the first attack happened at about 4.20 p.m. on July 26, when the 13-year-old girl was at Ion Orchards with another girl. 14. The two teens were standing near an escalator at basement 1 in the mall and talking when a walk past them. He raised his left hand and tapped the 13-year-old girl at the back of her head once, alarming her. A walked away, and the girls followed him. He entered Orchard MRT station and was approaching a pillar as Miss Miles tried to squeeze past him. He pushed her on her right upper arm once, shocking her. A walked away and the MRT station master called the police. Or committed his other offence on June 29, as he was walking along level 2 of Vivo City at around 5.45 p.m. in the opposite direction of the 37-year-old man who was with his two sons, aged 7 and 8. Or pushed the younger boy to the side, but he was not injured. Before the boy's father could say anything when he approached Or, the older man hurled vulgarities at him. The man then pushed Orr, who fell. The man left with his sons, but Orr followed them to the car park at basement 1, berating the man with vulgarities. The man again pushed Orr and kicked him once. A police officer, who was patrolling at the mall was alerted by a member of the public and went to the car park with his partner. Orr continued insulting the father, even as both officers were speaking to the two men. I also poked the man's face, prompting him to punch or in the neck. In court on Friday, DPP Ng said a stern warning was issued to the father over his behavior. Or was arrested on August 1st and was remanded at the Institute of Mental Health from August 3rd to 17th for a forensic psychiatric evaluation. He was assessed to be not of unsound mind at the time of the offenses. For each charge of using criminal force, or could have been jailed for up to three months, fined up to one dollar, five hundred or both. For using abusive words with intent to cause harassment under the Protection from Harassment Act, he could have been fined up to ten thousand dollars, jailed for up to twelve months, or both as a repeat offender.